Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page four and five of um, Mistletoe and Holly from Blue Fern. And these are both going to be fairly simple map pages. This is going to have a flip up, but these two are going to be stationary. Um, the paper that I used is from the 12 by 12, and I have two packs, so I have one uh, for each side. So what I did when I trimmed the paper is I cut uh, I placed one to the left and cut and then one to the right and cut so they're off center and then when you look at across it the spectrum it doesn't really look like two of the same pages so you can see right here is what I trimmed off this one and um, and this is what I trimmed off the other one so they're slightly off center and you can tell that by these two at the top too now originally I was going to use this on the cover and I decided not to and there's a little notch cut out and that notch is cut out <laughs> um, because I was trying to take something off of it and push it up um, and since I decided to use it inside instead of on the cover I'm going to cover that up with this fussy cut um, mailbox or a set of mailboxes and it, let me see if I've still got the 8x8 of it so you can see where it came from. I'm not sure if I've used these or not uh, in the 8x8. Mm, looks like I might have. Yeah, I think I did. Or, no, here's a couple more. Oh, that's not, that's 12 by 12. So I think, I, I can't remember for sure, but I think it came off the bottom of this page. Um, but like I said, I don't have the 8 by 8 here, so I can't really look at it. And I, and I know I use both the 12 by 12s because here's one and here's the other. So um, it, it's my belief that it came off of the 12 by 12 sheet, but I am not. I'm not sure and I have cut through all the papers so I don't know I don't have the key so to speak so we will just assume that that's what it, where it came off of but if you flip through your packages it'll be pretty easy to find but you can see how this flower this flower um, bunch of flowers looks a lot like this one so I do I'm pretty sure it came off the bottom but it came off like something like that yeah actually there it is so there's the little piece that I cut off, which was the bird's head. Here it is. So that's the bottom of the 12 by 12. And so I fussy cut it with the intent to pull it up on the cover. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do that here. So it's going to get attached to cover that up, but not until I place my two squares. Okay, enough of that. So I've already inked it, and I'm ready to lay these down. And again, this is page four and five, and both of the papers, the designer papers, are from the 12 by 12 for, for this part of the design. Let's scrape that down just a little bit. Okay, so my plan is to place this here. And right now I'm just going to glue this corner down because I want to look at it in its entirety to figure out where to place these photo mats. So right now I'm just focused on getting this corner down and covered. I'll come back and tuck some more glue under there once I'm sure that's where I want it. Tuck a little bit higher. Here we go. Okay, hold that into place. So we have this and this. This is from the 8x8. And it's cut like this. There we go. So this is from the 8x8, and um, that's the top and that's the bottom. So I'm going to do these side by side. I'm going to tuck this slightly behind the mailbox. 
So that's what I'm looking for. So I want to make sure I glue this down, but not the parts that overlay with this photo mat so that you can tuck your picture slightly in. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue down here. And I'm going to add some glue up here and behind the bird so it doesn't flip up and get caught on anything. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Now we, we have the option to glue here a little bit more and just make this a tuck spot and make this one fixed. But it has to lay this way so you can pull this out. Um, and I actually like it better this way. So I'm going to go ahead and make these both stationary. But you have the option to do that if you so desire and want to use um, the back for additional photo space. Now these are four... 4 and 1 8 by 4 and 1 8, which means the designer paper is 4 by 4. Again, 4 and 1 8 by 4 and 1 8. And actually that should not have glue on it because we want to be able to tuck our photo in there. So we've got room for, for two, basically three by threes right here. And then this is just going to be a, a mat that's laid directly down. Again from the 12 by 12. And this is going to have um, this bifold. I went ahead and put the top piece down so I wouldn't accidentally use it somewhere where I wasn't planning on it. So this is the same um, 8 by 8 It's just cut in a different direction. So you can see the bows right here are the same. Yeah. So this, I like the color here. So I'm going to position it slightly to the right. And this is 11 by seven and a half. 11, sorry, by seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter by 11, and then you're gonna score it in half. As soon as I lay it down, I'll open it up so you can see that. So I've got a magnet in here. So this is 11 by seven and a quarter. I know it's kind of an odd size. So let me double check that. I'm questioning myself now. Uh, yeah, I was wrong. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, it's 10, sorry about that. It's 10 and a half. by seven and a quarter, 10 and a half by seven and a quarter. My grid is making me go blind, sorry. 10 and a half by seven and a quarter. Okay, 
And now I have these two pieces that are going to go inside. And I'm going to put this, this down because this makes for a perfect uh, photo. And then this is just more simple, so you can put a photo anywhere you want, right here, and leave this as a feature, or just have, um, you know, an image where little bits of it are peeking out everywhere. Okay, so there's a magnet that's going to hold this closed. And I have a knot here. I think this is pretty, this is from the 8x8. You can tell by the scale. This paper is so lovely. I love it. I wish they um, came out with more collections uh, at a higher frequency. I really like blue fur. I just got my email from the Scrap Stampin' Scrap Expo. I guess uh, at the end of this month they're going to start um, pre-registration. Kind of curious if anybody in the area is planning on going to the Ontario show. Drop me a note in the comments and I'll check it out. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to go. Um, I definitely won't have a booth, but I was thinking about just going and um, hanging out, checking out some of the new... Um, you know, papers that are, have come out and catching some of the sales. So, I'm a bargain hunter like everyone else, right? Okay. So pretty. I wish there was more of um, this sort of tea stained backgrounds it's very warm it sort of warms everything up um, and it and it is a nice contrast to some of the blues and grays so that is page four and page five and as you can see this is really ideal for a four by six coming over a little bit more that's why I wasn't too worried about having a half door there. And this would be ideal, I think, for um, a 3 by 5 So a little bit narrower, a little bit taller. And up here, I mean, you could go as large as 5 by 7 and practically fill the whole thing. So anyways, lovely, lovely. That is 4 and that's 5. And I'll be back soon with page 6. And this probably will, will be the only two pages where it's uh, pretty much photo mats. These are static. I mean, this does have some interactivity, but I expect the, the rest will too. Um, okay, that's it for now. See you guys soon.